Hey guys, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are on, on you know, on whichever part of the world. Uh, Pase Baller here. We are now on the second game for this November 13 NBA game day. Uh, this time we'll be talking about this game between Philadelphia 76ers and Indiana Pacers. That'll have that'll happen 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. That'll be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. A perfect time to have our breakfast, right? Right. Before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Again, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, uh, they are now at 8 wins and 5 losses. They had a very good start. Uh, at one point, they are at number uh, 1 in the East, but right now, they are... Uh, they dropped to number five. A very good, you know, a very good record still with eight wins and five losses. The thing is, uh, for Philadelphia 76ers, they've actually lost three games in a row now, and uh, we all know why. Embiid has been out, um, and also, uh, f well, maybe uh, two out of those three losses that they had, Tobias Harris didn't play as well. Uh, but uh, th their last game against Toronto Raptors, Harris has already been activated, and Harris has, has actually shown. Um, you know, uh, good work, you know. Um, I was actually expecting less from him because it has been a while since, you know, since he has played, but he delivered. He delivered in that game. It's just that the Toronto Raptors was just playing much better against them. Um, so, approaching this game, uh, they wouldn't have Embiid. Uh, they wouldn't have uh, Thibel. Um, but, again, Harris is there. Green would be there. Seth Curry, I think he would still be, you know, he would still be playing, although he is actually listed as day-to-day. Now for uh, Indiana Pacers, uh, they are now at number 12 in the East. Uh, you know, a bad uh, standing, but um, lately they've been, you know, they've been figuring things out. Uh, they had a very bad start, but uh, they've won their last game, and that was against the mighty Utah Jazz. So that should be a momentum, you know, uh, a momentum, um, how, how do I call this? That should give them a lot of momentum, just to make it short. Uh, so, Indiana Pacers will be playing at home. Uh, they won their last game. And again, that was against Utah Jazz. Plus, uh, they already have a lot of players back. Uh, you know, Bragdon's there. Sabonis is, so Sabonis is actually getting a lot of help now. Unlike, you know, the start of, you know, the, the earlier part of the season wherein, you know, he had to do everything on his own. It's just that uh, Karis LeVert is actually out for this game for Indiana Pacers. Uh, so, uh, both teams are actually suffering... Um, some of their, you know, some some of their uh, huge or key players' absences. Okay, uh, for Indiana Pacers, uh, although they've won their last game, for the past 10 games that they had, they only won 4. So, uh, aside from the momentum and aside from the home court advantage, that's the only, you know, those are the only things that Indiana Pacers got, you know, um, an edge over Philadelphia 76ers, and I'm just saying it straight up you can go ahead and review everything if you want you can go ahead and check on the field goal the defense uh you know the offensive rebounds uh um the points off offensive rebounds everything man philadelphia 76ers is just better than indiana pacers period but the thing is um Embiid is out um and without Embiid, philadelphia ain't really philadelphia if you know what i'm saying now don't get me wrong I'm giving a lot of credit uh, to their second guy, second unit, um, especially Niang. Man, he's just hustling out there. Niang and um, um, Maxi has actually stepped up. Melton, um, and of course, I have to give it to the one who's playing um, uh, the role of uh, Embiid, Andre Drummond. Man, he's actually showing that he is still the Drummond that we know. Man. Look at the look at the number of rebounds he's actually giving Philadelphia in a day. He's also scoring. He's also defending. Man, Andre Drummond, bro. I wish New York caught him and he was still available. Um. Anyway, so uh, that's the key. That, that's the thing here. Um. That's uh, that's what make it hard for this game. Indiana Pacers. They are at home. They got the momentum. Philadelphia 76ers. They are better, but you know they don't have him beat. But they have Harris. Probably they have Curry. Um, so, yeah, um, this one's hard. I checked on the spread. It's minus two, Indiana Pacers. 
Um, I know a lot of people would actually pick Indiana Pacers because, again, Philadelphia doesn't have Joel Embiid, but I'm on the side with Philadelphia. I know they've been, you know, they've been crawling, they've been hustling, they've been kicking, they've been giving it up, they've been, they've been give, giving it all, and they're due for a win. You know, this, the second unit, um, hard work would pay off. That's what they say. So I'm picking Philadelphia on this one. Maybe they wouldn't win, but uh, I'm gonna pick on the spread. Which is just a little plus two. So yeah, my pick on this one would be Philadelphia plus two. Again, Philadelphia 76ers plus two. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.